Ci Rasim Choko, Rasim Denzo, Bazarana, Nesha, Solo, the Gonju, Dolpa, Favara, Shinji, Lobo, Tedin, Shinji, Shara, Vasari, Dalu, Dima, Mabara, Kada, Denji, Shonu, Dolpa, Yelo, Dolpa, Dima, Dolpa, Zora, Kansi, Tawara, Dima, Chonsi, Dima, Dima, Yang, Gompa, Janya, Shonya, Kembe, Varaya, Tawara, Shonu, Namu, Laya, Keta, Luta, Ndu, Shiki, Chonam, Tata, Me, Kena, Tantra, Waku, Jita, Kichi, Samba, Tham, Chiki, Tata, Kichi, Chutem, To, a dire che ci siete mindfulness, 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 da sanje beke che nyam so long war che ba la ya bo ji long tu bar chi yong go yo ya bo nyam so long long ju ke te che ba ta she she ba yu shum de the topic of the teaching this evening is mindfulness and mindfulness is of course uh, something which uh, uh, a term which has become um, very uh, well known popular uh, something many people uh, talk about and think about mindfulness uh, basically mindfulness is uh, the recollection um, the um, uh, bringing to mind which we need in order to be able to practice in order to uh, have the impulse to practice then we need to be able to recollect what to practice and that's what mindfulness does So basically, uh, this factor of mindfulness, which in Sanskrit is called smriti, uh, that factor along with alertness and um, carefulness are three factors which um, ensure that our practice will be, uh, um, will work well. Gosum, transhiti tikti simte sinti va. Uh, by means of uh, mindfulness and uh, alertness, uh, we can uh, remain uh, uh, keenly attentive of what goes on in body, speech, and mind. Mindful what? I think it, uh, we really need to study and uh, we need to a little bit uh, put in, in uh, investigation. Some misunderstanding also going about mindfulness. Mindfulness what? Oh, mindful. Oh, tea, Japanese ceremony tea, mindfulness, mindfulness. It's not a big deal. Mindful what? Mindful, calm. Calm with, calm, calm, why, where? Kind, wire, helpful. Wire. Clear, wire, detach. How to apply the Buddha teaching in daily life? 
we need to mentally calm as possible. But calm, physically, mentally, calm with dull is not good. Calm with dull, then something wrong. Some, some drugs do like that. Some people when they drink also like that. Some different type of drugs. Oh, well, do like that. We're not talking that kind of calm. We're talking calm, natural calm. Why? 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 Where? Where? What are you thinking? What are you saying? How are you moving? Where? The Dharma is how to, Dharma practice is common sense, common logic, common it, how to be a better person, how to be more kind, more smart, more, how to be more wiser. So, calm. Physical calmness, biblical calmness is based on mental calm. You, you look this your movie, 20 years before, in movie, when they're playing, acting, how they act is quite, quite, yeah, not so, not so jumpy. These days in movies, in, also in daily life, people are so jumpy, physically jumpy, talking jumpy, blah, 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 moving jumpy, it's very, very strange. And uh, people have more, 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 things. you can say, education system is good, so people have, you can say, more education than before, more materialist than before, less happy, less smiling, less happy, less getting long. Something wrong here. People, people, people have a lot. If you look their face, it's very dark. If they, if they smile, fake smile, only like this. If they laugh, hair, yeah, 25% laugh. That's very, yeah. you own a lot. Huh? You collect a lot. Collecting, collecting, huh? owning, owning, collecting, collecting, during owning, during collecting, collecting, boom, gone. <laughs> Preparation not end, life will end. Whole life preparating, school, working, job, say I want to, huh? I want to one day be happy, happy life. Where, where is the one day? Or like that. Say, come, listen. Twenty-one century. Humans become slave of the technology. Lettuce, lettuce, lettuce. What is lettuce? House lettuce, decoration hair lettuce, car lettuce, aeroplane lettuce, motorbike lettuce, iPhone, iPad also lettuce. You see, when the uh, phone, I, what, iPhone, iPad, if they come latest, people get up and wait almost midnight. 
Midnight Bell is a straight cue. Play. After a few months, after a few years, no use. Again. Handful people, make ta 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 do it, jump, jump. Then, oh no, no, this ladies come, oh, well, oh, jump. Walk, walk, walk. Similarly, fashion. Ta. Change, change, change. Handful people, they discuss, they decided. <laughs> then majority is follow. There's no freedom. Still we think we are free, still we think we are very civilized. 20, 21 century, very civilized. What, what we civilized? Air polluted? Earth fluted, food fluted. What is the seven life? We are, we are. Ah, the technology is our boss. More and more danger comes. Air polluted, air, earth, water. This is room three, extreme important. Mobile, not important. iPhone, iPad, not important. Not necessary. Why? Before we have no iPhone, no iPad, function. That time function, People more on earth. People more communicate. People has more fun with people. Now fun is you totally suck in that. So we need to be aware. We need to keep our own dignity, not dignity. Still we think smart. Earth fluted, still we think smart. Air fluted, still we think smart. Water fluted, still we think smart. Luckily, right now in Malaysia water might be not that bad. Singapore water, honey. But Singapore is a very, very civilized life. Drinking water, one time, two time, three times. Water is dead. Air is dead. Earth is dead. So how many unbelievable disease comes? Actually, what do we have? What do we have? What do we want? Nothing. Whatever we collected, whatever we, how you say, pump up, all is need to drop. Even this body need to drop. What left? Only the consciousness. That consciousness itself confused. Still, we human things are very, very smart, civilized, smart, proud. I own this, I own that. What on? Just short time B borrowing. Borrow? Borrowing. On loan. Huh? On loan. Loan, loan, everything is loan. Still, we think, oh, my land, my house, my property, my jewelry, my this, my family, that lonely. Born with lonely, die with lonely. Born 
with Christ, die with Christ. So emergently we need to be aware and think about how to develop the mind. Mind, suffering is based in mind. What suffering? Temptation, temptation, hoping, hoping, fear, fear, doubting, doubting. That itself is suffering. Who have nothing, hope, hope, hope. Who have everything, hope, hope, hope. Who, who is who is who is not suffering? Everybody has fear. Who have no fear? So where is the fear? Who is the success? Whoever gained fearless success. Till that, nobody is a success. Whatever you think success is for just a temporary, even that time, because if you have, if you have fame, if you have fame, how you say, name, fame, power, position, material gain, you have a lot of worry and a lot of fear. You might living such, how you say, a luxury life, but mental so much of hope and fear and worry, one after another. So, time to, time to, kind to self. Kind to self means we need to uh, beware how to how to develop the mental state. Why? That only number sheba to jang bahara yore. Nanju rang kirang la pet tak second number number sheba til tila sub touch sir. Love song to te. Te corona kyun kyun tang kyun tang yun ting yi yote. Yun ting kichate. The good quality with consciousness, good to say consciousness, okay, yeah. has enlightened essence, positive side, negative side, ignorance, anger, Ignorance. <laughs> um, yeah, so only our consciousness will be there at that time, everything else is lost. So it's really important that we try to educate, uh, train our consciousness, do something to our consciousness so that uh, it will be in a good condition when that's all what is left. Because this consciousness has good qualities and bad qualities. It has Buddha nature, but it also has those negative emotions like anger, desire, pride, ignorance and so on. Buddha nature or enlightened essence is within mind. Okay. Enlightened being and sending being, what different? Why we not okay to be sending being? What wrong? Why do we need to enlighten? What? If we, if we not enlighten, we suffer. That reasons we need to study Dharma, that reasons we need to practice, that reasons we need to gain the stage of fearlessness. Till that we suffer. There's no no other choice. So it is one thing so important about impermanence. It will not Think about uh, impermanent. We are we are up up the sky, huh? uh, up the in, space in the sky, yeah. up the yeah. space. Huh? Yeah, so you can say that. Yeah. yeah. If we think well about impermanent, and if that touch our heart, that time uh, we will be on ground. On the ground. Yeah. On the ground. 
that time we will be aware and to think more further than only only uh, uh, mundane success mm. mundane success till that we only focus the mundane success mundane mundane sex, success is very short long long journey is left Actually, we are quite thick, and we are quite foolish, and we are cheating ourselves, we are fooling ourselves. If we say this to others, they think, whoever said that is crazy. But any of you, if you really think a little bit, what I say is true, what we, what, what we have, what we own, is only the consciousness. Whatever we own, is belong to others. Whatever we give is belong to us. Whatever we own is belong to others. So now through example sesma seed sesma seed is is not oil. Sesma seed has oil. Sending beings are not enlightened. Sending being, sending being has, uh, has enlightened mind. What is enlightened mind? We can check ourselves. We have sharpness. We have kindness. We not need to learn this sharpness. We not need to learn the kindness. It's within our mind. Sometimes it's your. It's uh, together with mind. It's uh, innate. We don't, have to ac- we don't have to acquire those qualities. That's it. Uh, those are the good points. Te palasha. Te palasha. Te nyam nyam shong chu cha. Those are the good points about the mind, but they have become very weak and almost uh, uh, go unnoticed. They they are mere potential. And instead, all the power is given to attachment, anger, and um, ignorance. And so, uh, body and speech and mind, they work uh, based on those uh, impulses. So mindful, what mindful? Calm, kind, where? Moment of a moment, calm, mentally calm, kind, where? Calm, while, where? Calm, dull, stupid. Kind, not helping other, useless. Only one thing use, training, mental training, but not really useful other side. You're not doing anything. But you mentally say, I want help, I want to serve, I want to help, I want to serve. But one thing good, that habit is positive habit. The good karma, mentally good karma. Why? If you have that kind of cont- continuity, good motivation, that will do good. If you angry, hate, angry, angry, grudge, Grudge, revenge comes. What happened in America? The building. Handful people, angry, angry, revenge, revenge. Handful people destroying how many people's life? And brainwash. Human's mind is very, how you say? Uh, easy to fool, uh, gullible. Oh! Five senses, objects are very seductive. Seductive. Huh? Seductive. Mind is very gullible. 
still we think, we say, oh, look, children, children's mind is very gullible. If we, if we put in children in one room and put many twice, they play hour and hour. When we look, it's like joke. But we are saying, how many toys do we have? And whole oh, mind is occupied. So, kind with helpful. And Mahayana, very good. Generosity, discipline, patience. These are extremely uh, helpful. <laughs> the teaching need to apply. We shouldn't leave the teaching in the book or in the idea. If we do that, does that no progress. Even thinking of impermanent make our we are very grounded. Till that we are not grown up. 80 years old, 90 years old, I not see, ear not hear, truth gone, still, still not grown up. So, thinking of impermanent make you grounded and wake. You, you will make, it make you wake from this uh, gullible mind. Gullible? This gullible mind will wake. And they were very gullible. Mede jume, mede jume chuji rase, luni, yin da chen, tin tu su zonto. Unreal phenomena that are just like an illusion, they keep fooling us uh, day and night and that's how life passes, fooled by these uh, phenomena. Think it's true or not? Fools, fools. Sucks energy, I'm no, uh, no energy, I'm tired. Of course it's true. Now I look at Shabana Churchum. Now I look at the Shepherd Churchum to Luty Ramon Pusanabs the Shire. These appearances are so skilled in uh, deception. So they do it to us all the time, fool us, and our mind is just ready to be uh, deceived. And uh, that deception is then becomes ongoing. It's all the time that it happens. The Sanjay Sumbe Chuk Indian Carlton Ranky Simki Sheila Sangu Yundes Yoris. What thing was ever chained? Did the Taku Japson Ulpo Chimla Rimbuchi Terry Yabati? Did Ulpo Shena? Did Ulbe Dungal Selgate? Ulbe Chimol Serry Yabati? Ulbe Masha Balatene? The Ulbe Dungal Nanzu Simki Sheila. So what the Buddha teaches is that in our mind is something that is incredibly valuable, valuable, really quite perfect. So take good care of that, understand that it's there, and then make use of it. Just like uh, a beggar, if the beggar sleeps on top of a priceless treasure, but doesn't know that this is in fact a treasure below the place that he sleeps, then he will go on being uh, a beggar. But if he realizes that actually if he just digs down a little bit below uh, his resting place, then he will find this amazing treasure. If he next digs and takes out the treasure, he's now a rich man, he can do whatever he wants with, with his great wealth. 
Similarly, the Buddha says, uh, in our mind is a flawless nature. Our, nat- our mind is in fact permeated by a flawless and perfect uh, nature. So recognize that and then all the uh, problems and all the shortcomings are gone just like the uh, uh, dest- uh, destitution and the poverty of the beggar is gone the moment that he takes hold of this treasure. Suppose my talk is based on mindfulness and when difficult time, how to deal. Difficult time, how to deal? Taking drugs, drinking alcohol, or seeing psychi, psychi, what? Psychiatrist. None of this work. Drugs, alcohol, make your mind screwed up, body screwed up, mental screwed up, verbal screwed up. Escaping. Just escape from your pain. Only one will work. The realization. The re- realization. Mm-hmm. Realization. Realization. That reason is very important to study Dharma. That reason is very important to listen to Dharma. That reason is very important to... Are you sick? Chapa chela kari. Uh, investigate and examine. Yeah, yeah examine. Uh, investigate. But knowing a lot, hearing a lot, moving a lot, chanting a lot, thinking a lot, will only reduce pain or emotion, negative emotion, or reduce. Uh, action, action, negative emotion, confusion, but the root is always there. So how to get rid of the root? Realizing, realizing the natural state. Realizing the natural state of the mind. Only that is valuable. Except that whatever we want, whatever we have, no value. Emergency time, no use at all. Uncurable disease, no use. Old age time, no use. Death time, no use. So now I will explain. What is this? What we experience here? What is that? They mean like chene, chene, mashiki. Ah, chene, mashiwek. Parke na wat le chene ch parke na wat. It's called the uh, period of this life, uh, the period that begins with birth and uh, lasts until death. So it's having been born and still being here that kind of situation, having been born and still being around in this um, life, having been born and being around in delusion. Mm-hmm. 
Within that period is also a, another kind of uh, situation or context that we can distinguish, um, which is that of dream. That's another period um, of experience that unfolds after we have fallen asleep and all of our uh, perceptions have dissolved into an oblivious uh, state. Then out of that unfolds the dream experience. We begin to see things, hear things and so on that look like, um, that resemble what we are used to from the day and yet is not quite the same. So that's what we call uh, dream. <laughs> So that's a different kind of period. For practitioners, there's still um, a second uh, distinct period within this uh, life, which is uh, characterized by um, special uh, experience, namely the uh, experience that uh, unfolds during meditation practice. And because it is somewhat different, it's also categorized as a distinct period, the period of meditation practice. So when are we then to practice? When is the time for practicing? The best opportunity is this period of the present life. And how are we then to practice? Through a keen um, sense of mindfulness, alertness and uh, carefulness, uh, we can uh, apply ourselves, meaning our body, our speech and our mind, to um, making informed, uh, correct choices, knowing what to do and what not to do. Uh, the experiences that we have now and the uh, appearances that we encounter in the present life become a tremendous source of attachment. Actually, it is uh, quite a short duration that we are talking about this present life if we compare with all that is to follow after, then it's just a very short time. We follow our Buddha. A PCP, you type of people you who have family. You need to success two together. Mundane success and spiritual success. If you not put interest or energy to spiritual success is really fooling yourself, cheating yourself and uh, sorry to say, torturing yourself. So there is extreme important to be aware and uh, to be success mundane success and spiritual success. It's, it, it's very hard. But if you put interest, high interest, you can do it. Why? In past, many householders gain high realization. But compare monastic life, compare who live in mountain, the in the family, uh, that kind of 
uh, I said, uh, spiritual success is very hard, possible. Now, time to not, we need to take seriously the practice. Not only once while doing some kind of ceremony function, hmm? special day together, chant some beautiful sutra, doing some puja here, there, nice melody, you know, wearing different type of the dharmic dress and mentally not taking it so serious a little show up, little competition, little criticizing here, there. Uh, that kind of practice is quite shallow. That kind of practice is quite quite super uh, superficial. We need to take serious. We need to go, really go go to the point. We need to examine ourselves. Whatever dress you wear, okay. It's not a big deal. Mental. We need to take a mental. Moment by moment. Not just gathering t- together. If we practice only that way, it's quite shallow. Also, one very important. We are going to temple, or giving to dana, or giving to you know, here, there, and asking puja, or you know, for what? I want a healthy, I want the success of my business. For that reason, if we do dharma, it's so shallow, it's so cheap. Then we pray, pray, pray. It which come when? Oh, very good, very powerful. Huh? <laughs> then, if your stock market is crash, no use, lah. Puja, no use, lah. <laughs> if, if, if we think Dharma is that kind, It's, it's very fooling ourselves. Dharma is for what? For liberation. Study is for liberation. Practice is for liberation. Not for mundane gain issue. Chui chetul de yabo shingo. Jik chup ta lehmeng kishir de la. Yap shikun chol shi wandao. Shantien chya wandao. Sosa dhigyan chya wandao. Chick, if our Dharma practice becomes uh, just something we do uh, because other people do it as well, if we just uh, uh, do uh, many things that are associated with uh, Dhamma practice, like making offerings, uh, making prayers, and uh, uh, paying homage, and uh, and so on, as one does as a believing um, Buddhists, but uh, not with any uh, deeper perspective, th- just thinking that that's what the religion is about, then that is uh, an incredible shame, and it's a terrible waste uh, the teaching of the Buddha is meant to uh, enable us to, to uh, realize what our uh, mind really is. 
a completely flawless and uh, perfect uh, state of wisdom realization, completely free and endowed with all excellent qualities. It's in order for us to discover that uh, reality that the Buddha uh, has taught and, all the, and that the Buddha teaches. All of the teachings are for that purpose. So when we are generous, when we are disciplined, when we are patient, when we uh, practice diligently, when we practice meditation, and so on, it's all in order to arrive at that insight and achieve that uh, liberation and awakening for the benefit of all. Difficult time, how to, how to practice, right? So difficult, what is the old age? Then what? Uncurable disease. Then what? Death. These are very, these are really extremely suffering. About old age, only old age people know. Difficult to eat, difficult to sleep, everywhere pain, five senses not clear, people look funny, lonely. It's a bad time, what can help? Uncurable time, thousand doctors around, no help. Billion, billions, whatever you have, zero help. Not only no help, worry. So attached, what to do, what to do. It makes so much suffering, pain, angry. Like, like or Steve, Steve Jobs, what he said in his, he created that Apple, Apple what? Mm -hmm. The computer, right? And the iPhone and so on. And then what he said? Uncurable disease, he got it? No friend? He had friend, he had money. No final, what here? No friend. Fame? What is fame? What is... What he gained? What he gained? In his life, what he gained? And what he said, nice advice. Don't do like me. So, very fact, all of us, we need to live moment by moment, healthily, happily. Past gone, cannot come back. Future, unpredictable. Unpredictable. So, present right now is most important. Opportunity is just here. So we need to live moment to moment, physically healthy, mentally happy. <coughs> Happiness is most rich. Happiness is most success. No happy, very poor, no happy, unsuccess. What? 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 It, no use. <coughs> so when we say happy, words of happy, then there is what is unhappiness. If there is no unhappiness, there is there is no happy. There is unhappiness. Unhappy. What is unhappy? You have little and happy, you have lot and happy, you have more more and happy, more 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 worry, more more fear. Now what to do? 
what to do? So happiness and happiness is cause what? Three there's three reasons. One, what you have you not appreciate. What you have if you not appreciate, you have nothing. If if you have little you if you appreciate you have a lot. If you have a lot, if you not appreciate you have nothing. Number one. Number two, and happiness is based no harmony. If you're not harmony, if you not get get along with someone, near or far, disturb your mental. It disturb your physically. And the religion believers, we we do one big mistake. What do we do? Christian, Buddhist, or other? We're talking Christian, Buddhist now. We go temple, we go monastery. I'm very polite to, to the statues or sangha, and, and we we keep that anger, continue keeping. We not get along with whoever we not get along. We continue to get along. Still, we go some holy think holy area, holy place. Holy practice. What is holy practice? Conf- confession. To whom confession? You don't need confession to the statue. Number one, you not talk with the statue. <laughs> Number two, you 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 not uh, need a confession to the monks or the sifu. Why? You not see them and you not no reason to fight with them. <laughs> so a confession <coughs> to whom? Whoever you not get along, you confess. But that no you want not want to do that. Proud. Patenting, hypocrisy. We go some other area, oh omi tofu. <laughs> and here we when see not looking, not talking, showing funny face, saying bad words. Bad karma. A result and happiness. Not appreciate what you have, bad karma. Result and happy. Others success jealousy, bad karma. Result you're not happy. Now how to how to how to how to solve this problem? If you have little if you, if you know how to appreciate, you have a lot. If even you have one flower, if you appreciate that one flower, it makes you so, such joy. Mentally and physically. Physically you feel very feeling good, not uptight. One flower. You have millions of flowers. Not appreciate. Mm-hmm. Plus, million flowers has no value at all. If you get along with everyone, you s- mentally, physically, you are very free, very relaxed, very happy. Mentally, physically. If you not get along with on- one or two people, Mentally, there to wound, wound. That wound is worse than physical wound. Physical wound we can cure. Angry, grudge is mental, mental wound. It will not, it will, it will, it will, it will not solve that problem. It will not solve that, that. Problem because that is negative, negative karma. So ne- you suffer, you suffer D- year and year, day and night, even in dream you suffer. And sometimes you suffer whole life, whole life that karma, whole life suffer. So what to do? Now what to do? 
forgiveness, confession, apologizing is the healer. The healer of pain, healer of suffering. So easy. Why? Only take few minutes. So zero cost. But human not do often that. Proud. What you have? Only 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 you have one country 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 consciousness. And then work hard, 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 great, hard, hard, hard. Maybe you met, maybe your friend, maybe your family. You have some here, there, there, there. I have, I have, you know. I said, thousands of acres, hundreds of houses. That's not yours. But you really think this is my wife, in all my name. Chop. Joke, joke. Even you not on your physical body, how you can say this is all on you. But still, you know, how much we have attached, how much we fool ourselves. We really think this is my, 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 my. So there is this Chinese not like the number four. <laughs> if you look at a car, if there's a number four, Definitely not Chinese car number. <laughs> that much scare. But still you not still you not you not want to you, you want to, you not want to know how to handle. You that much scare. If you that much scare then you need to think something. Okay, now how how to handle? Just we all need to face now what? Now what we need to face? We need to face the death. That there's, a, that there's a no, no other way. Uh, her said, "There's no, there's no other choice. We are, we are dying. We will die, hundred percent. Death is certain. Cause of death is uncertain. Shiva, Nyajan, Shije, Nyame." Death is certain, the circumstances are uncertain, and the time we do not know either. That is something that, is something that Dhamma practitioners need to have uh, on their mind a whole lot. Uh, it's something we need to be able to uh, remember. Only, only remember, re, only remember the death, no use. But without not thinking of death is foolish. But thinking of um, remember death, then what to do? Now how to handle that? We need our duty, our job is that. When we are aging, time how to handle? When we had. Uh, Uncurable disease and how to handle. When we are really a moment to dying time, how to handle? Because nothing else, nothing else will help us, protect us, heal us. We need to protect ourselves. Buddha says, "I teach you how to protect yourself, but I cannot protect you." Who said only Buddha? Said, in this world, many, many great r religions. Buddha says, I'm not a saver. I'm, I, I'm not a petty. 
protector? I'm not protector. You need to protect yourself. You need to uh, save yourself. But I teach you how to save yourself. I teach you how to uh, how, how to how to how to protect for what? How to protect, protect yourself. How to protect it. This Buddha is very honest. Through example, when we we are we are we are civilian civilian and sick mentally. Nothing is real. We think real. Nothing is permanent. We think permanent. Nothing make hundred percent joy, but we think joy. See, be danger thing too. Rajin number kali ye beke. Rajin number kali ye beke. Dangti che dapatabri. The pleasures of existence are just like honey on the uh, razor blade. Licking. If you, if you lick, yes. If you lick honey off a razor blade, then how is that? Honey is good, yeah. Sweet, but then. It will cut tongue, yeah? Name, fame, power, money, gain, all of this. If you really exact, So, when we sick, we see to doctor. And we need help from the doctor. But doctor doctor cannot heal us. But doctor's medicine heals us. So Buddha is doctor. Teaching is medicine. Sangha is nurse. These three are very important. When we're hungry, we need to take it. No choice to not take refuge to food. If we cool, we need to take refuge to the home. If we want to free and omniscient, we have no choice not take refuge to Buddha Dharma Sangha. Buddha born from Dharma. Sangha born from Dharma. Da, the Dharma is the source of enlightenment. Tachika Narchuch Pardusindi, Naransu Lushata Chupumbo de Joan Anduchi Pumbo de Bassonza, Deke Kamkin Nivatin Zuman Yamdu Kapsula, and the Luthi Semnatura Madeva. え、だ。いや、バレ。どんまりや。ルールなさ。せんのどんまり。え、手を探こうって立ちてる。立ち行くかしら。で、感じてんけれしな。ま、にゃんねちょ。ま、にゃんねけれ、ば、ま、ぼ
So it's a painful and very uncomfortable uh, period that comes at the end of this life. And what uh, to do then during uh, the painful bardo, the painful bardo or period, uh, simply uh, at the end of, of uh, this life? Well, practice. That's what we uh, can do during that time, which is otherwise so uncomfortable and um, and painful. And there are many kinds of practice that one can do, but uh, basically if one can uh, recognize the nature of one's mind uh, during this time, then just as it is said in the Tantra, uh, in the ultimate truth there is no fear. So within that recognition of the ultimate nature of things, one is free from fear, but otherwise not. Uh, otherwise, whatever we may do, um, we are still not uh, fearless. Fearlessness is achieved in the realization of things as they are. Otherwise, how to do? Detachment. Whatever we attach, that makes you so much suffering. So detach to the body, to the well. Whatever you attach. Chakshin ก็ว่าเจนเนี่ยก็ว่าตบชิมบ่เออกุดดอกเนี่ยบัดเจนเนี่ยกุดดอกเนี่ยบัดเนี่ยบัดชิมบ่ชิเกะเสร็จเลย
reach uh, the perception of uh, reality. If we can have that occur during the uh, death process, then indeed we become our own protector, our own savior. ที่ทอกบทเทกอัปสลาญามสลาญาตาที่จับกิเรที่เพ่งกิเรมาตะเชงคังกิเพ่งกิเมบาเรลาลับชุญิจิเนลุตอนเนทิงงาที่นี่เ
terrifying situation then. So instead of being terrified, uh, if we can practice, then that's what we should do, of course. And in the best case, we can pass away within a uh, realization of the uh, undivided nature of insight and uh, compassion. That's beautiful and powerful and meaningful. If we can do that, that's the best. But otherwise, again, um, uh, some meditation technique for transferring consciousness is excellent. And uh, certainly also uh, just fervent uh, prayers and conviction about the possibility of rebirth in uh, a pure Buddha field. Uh, in short, we have to be able to do something and um, practice is the only thing that will be of uh, real benefit. We must do something. We are, we are very fortunate, we are human. If we not learn and if we not apply that kind of uh, emergency time, then we are same as animal or worse than animal. Worse than animal means animal has not much, not much attached because they have no position. They have no, no position. Property. Property, yeah. They have no property. Where they live in land also is sort of national, national land. Water is sort of public water. Grass is just There's not much. There's so much attached we have. So we need to train training. It's extremely important. And in a uh, canting, uh, the, the teaching of nature of mind. Yeah. When really old aging time, when really uncurable disease time, uh, during the death, that will help. So there is this, the teaching, you listening, I think most of you appreciate. You say you appreciate, but if we just just cast up, how I say, if we only play a, a, a practice once while, it's not so helpful. We need continue to practice. One, second in teaching mention, don't forget guru. Why? Then you remember the teaching. Don't forget Lama the Dhamma Matis. Dhamma Majina. Lama Majina Dhamma Tantum. Dhamma Tantum and Yamsha Nantum. Don't forget the Guru and the instructions. If you remember the teacher, the Guru, then you'll thereby also remember the instructions. And when you remember the instructions, you can apply them. Let go, let go. If you can completely let go, it's really very nice. And you, you can, uh, and this is something that we need to learn now then, if we're interested in that. And it doesn't mean that we have to give away all our things, that we can't keep them. We can keep them, but reduce our attachment. Okay, now here, four point. Nuju meta to sheshin, shencha chung, kushi Recognizing that the world and its inhabitants are all impermanent, uh, reduce your attachment. Knowing that all sentient beings are your parents, practice the uh, endeavor in the six parameters. Arasim, 
Knowing that your mind is awakened, enlightened, understand, experience and realize. That is what is going to be helpful at this really demanding time. Nothing else. That is the savior, the protector. We prepare, prepare, prepare. Only uh, uh, short, short period, short period. Uh, 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 how you say? Nawala. Appearances. Nawala. We do all the things we do only for the sake of this moment which this life is, yeah? All of these things, uh, they just last for a moment, yeah? All, all of this, no, no, all of this, the yeah. all, all of these things, meaning the things that we experience in this life, yeah? All, all of that which we experience here in this life is just here for a moment. What, how? How many million years gone? How many million years will come? How about that? This, this born till death, the period of this vision, so short. We only concern this. We're only preparing for this. We only put in fully energy for that. Touch you can't you get jail. Tin carry on. Chuny or circa pardo say. Chuny or circa pardo jail, seba legi pardo. What happens after the painful period of dying? A new uh, type of experience unfolds the period of the luminous dhammata and after that comes then the period of becoming the karmic period of becoming the luminosity of dhammata is something that uh, is intrinsic to all sentient beings and it's also the buddha mind and um, it appears, it manifests during that time. Yeah, the approaches in Tibetan Buddhism that emphasize uh, practice, we can say, uh, among those, the Kakyu and Nyingma school are very um, uh, important uh, schools of, uh, of Buddhism. And in those practice schools of Kakyu and Nyingma, the, there's a particular practice, which is about uh, recognizing what the mind really is, Recognizing that, being uh, introduced to what the mind really is, so that one can ac acknowledge it in one's own experience, and in that way sustain the recognition of the natural state of mind. That's uh, a speciality of the Kagyu and Nyingma. What the mind really is. <coughs> Pointing out what the mind really is, the nature, intrinsic nature of the mind, so that it can be recognized. So it's pointed out, then recognized by oneself, and then one can sustain the recognition of the mind's essence or the mind's nature. <laughs> If it is pointed out, one can recognize 
once one has recognized uh, the strength of recognition can be perfected and so one will attain, fu attain full stability in, in the nature of mind. So it's not that we are introduced to the mind, but the mind's fundamental nature. How can we be introduced to that? How can we have that pointed out? It's not uh, just the case that we can um, learn a whole lot and then it will come, the recognition. It's not a matter of being uh, particularly uh, intelligent either. Uh, generally, the more we can purify obscurations and gather accumulations, the better. That's what takes us in the right direction towards the recognition of the natural state. But in particular, if we can be compassionate and have faith, then uh, that's the way to go about it. Why? Logic is what? If we really, from a bottom of the heart, if we really loving and caring all sentient beings, that, that also a thought, that thought is so, so clean thought. There's no clean in that thought. Also, if we, have, if we really uh, know enlightening the quality and the kindness and the, 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 from bottom of heart, if we have this strong faith or devotion, that kind of thought, that also thought, is so pure, so clean. So, through, through this, I love you, Mugu, Mugu, Ninja if we can have really strong, heartfelt devotion, and if we can have uh, genuine, vast and strong compassion, then of course those two uh, states of devotion, fervent devotion and um, great compassion for sentient beings, they are um, modes of consciousness that still are the conceptual mind, it's the thinking mind. But it's a way of thinking, it's a way of being, being conscious, which is superior to basically any other way that we can possibly be conscious. It's an extremely um, pure form of conscious, consciousness. And the negative emotions, they just can't endure in that kind of environment when the mind is full of devotion or uh, completely suffused with compassion, then in such uh, a mind that just can't be negative emotions. And in the absence of those negative emotions, it then becomes uh, perfectly possible to uh, recognize, once it is pointed out, what the natural state of the mind is it, it is a, a real possibility then that when it is pointed out, one actually recognizes it. Sign, we're talking sign, sign, sign. Huh? So in dream, when we sleep, what kind of dream comes? That is one sign. Ah. Also, the moment of dying time, 
if we remember the fifth introduction, then we might get free from that moment. If not, the other choice, Shinyu or Sarchi Parduk, Rango Shinyu, the troll. The other much of the Siva Leji Parduk of the lion, the Rang, the troll. After that comes the luminous uh, period of the intrinsic nature of Dhammata. And if we can recognize during that time, that also means uh, liberation and accomplishment right there. If we can't, then the luminous period of Dhammata is followed by the karmic period of becoming. And that's a time when all sorts of uh, delusions arise and, and are experienced. But if at that time we have some presence of mind, and if we are able to recognize that we are going through the Bhadu, and that what we, uh, through this period of uh, delusion, and if we can then uh, remind ourselves that what we experience is just uh, uh, hallucination and uh, delusional experience, then there's uh, something that can be done in a very uh, concrete and practical way at that time as well, in the karmic period of becoming. The most important thing is now, right now, we need to apply the teaching moment by moment. We need to bring mentally calm, while, where, kind, while helpful, clear with detach, eh? detach. Mm. Clear while detached. Talk finish. Dembari <laughs> <laughs> Is it uh, is it right or not? What Wembati has been saying here, is it true or not? Some of you might be happy, some of you a little bit disappointed, some of you feel a little bit <laughs> sad, but uh, it's fact. Good to know. Knowing is very intelligent. Then Donna, then Arancho, one day, Katani, Nala Kari or Rangla, 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 Kari, Kari or so what, so what do we have? What do we really have? What are we left with? We really have consciousness and we are left with consciousness. So please try and think about that um, and, and maybe study. Study what this means. Okay, one or two questions, then finish. <coughs> yeah, quick. Huh? No, say, say lou louder. We can hear not many people. Say. No need la. Uh, dear Ramboche. There's two questions. Question number one is, if you say there is a consciousness at the moment of death, would that be also clinging to the concept of consciousness? Uh, then the second question is, what if death happened to take place in an event of accident, where car crash, there's no process of preparation, because there's no, uh, there's no preparation of this body is decay, Aging. Not only car. Yes. Not only car. A uh, car accident. Sleep. No more. Morning. No get up. Walking. Fell down. Finish. Eating. Gone. No prediction. No. Unpredictable. 
unstated term. That is mindfulness is important. Okay, quick. Huh? When consciousness correct, uh, correct how, how to maintain mindfulness so that can recognize nature of mind without fall into the unconsciousness? Uh, that is something that happens if one is used to recognizing the natural state. Then at that time it will happen also. So it depends on our familiarity with the natural state now. Why teaching important? Why practicing important? Why retreat is important? Retreat makes strength. Strength? See Kamba. Strength? It's not so good. Uh, 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 it makes you accustomed to the um, uh, to the state of practice. You you gain familiarity with it through retreat and through um, sessions. Retreat is important. Session is important because of that. Now you understand. Huh? What's that? Rinpoche, if a disciple have learned uh, two practice, uh, power and recognizing your mind, and in their daily practice in their life, they have practiced this a uh, long time, but they have not recognized their mind, they don't think so. So upon that, uh, how would the person decide which one they use? That's one. Uh, and second, uh, if they are in the dead process, they're very pain physically. Let's say in the hospital, and body very pain. And would that be uh, the choice that they, uh, how they're going to choose? They maybe have to use for what, or if they have learned this? Yeah. Which social combat by combatant? It's the practice that we feel uh, most familiar with and that we have greatest um, trust in. Then, uh, same more life, combat the issue, you know, yeah, should Same more time. Of course, the best is if we uh, have, if we are familiar with the nature of mind and if we are confident about the nature of mind. For we may be combat the issue, you know, degree. But it's also okay if we have um, experience with the. Uh, visualization and so forth for power, and if we feel confident about that. Power and uh, Amitabha Pure Land, both the ticket is trust. Trust, trust, trust and the devotion. Natural of mind, ticket is detachment. Okay. Thank you. Now late. Don't do that. I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No need, no need. No need, no need. No need. I said bye. Page number twenty two. Twenty two. Jin <laughs> 
Dharma teaching and good, very important to practice. Okay? Thank you. She she, Sai Chen. Thank you. 